ओम नमो भगवते राम कृष्णा लेसन्स फॉर लाइफ फ्रॉम स्वामी जगदात मानंदी इज इंस्पायरिंग बेस्ट सेलर लर्न टू लर्व वॉल्यूम वन चैप्टर वन द हिडन ट्रुथ द हिडन ट्रुथ इज इन्फिनेट पावर इज हिडन विद इन एवरी वन ऑफ एस बुकर टी वॉशिंगटन वॉज अ ग्रेट एफ्रीकन अमेरिकन लीडर हु वर्क टायरलेसली फॉर द अपलिफ्ट ऑफ एस फिलो मैन नव लेट इज लिजन टू स्वामी जीज words on the life of this great hero booker t washington the daring hero of the down trodden booker t washington was born into the suffocating atmosphere of slavery poverty and dirt being constantly exposed to the scorn contempt hate and persecution meted out to the african americans by the whites he was brought up in the midst of a relentlessly gloomy environment he had no hope of getting an education but the sight of the children of the white race going to school and learning instilled in washington an irrepressible desire to learn initially he got no help from any teacher he learned the alphabets on his own from a book given to him by his mother Within a few months he had become familiar with the whole of the small book watching the white children going to school and learning made booker eager to go to school as well his keen desire brought him finally to the summit of glory the story of his multifaceted learning is indeed exciting and inspiring it is the story of a great man who suffered acutely from the rigors of poverty and discrimination who endured suffering and pain with extraordinary patience and tolerance and who came up in life by means of hard back breaking labor he rose to such greatness that all developing individuals and nations could imbibe the necessary inspiration to uplift themselves using the example of his life when he won a covetable status and honor he did not lose his head he rose to the height of selfless service and worked day and night for the liberation of his fellow african americans the views and actions of this great leader were a model to the whole world every individual thinking in terms of general social welfare will be thrilled to study the life of washington a great treasury of all human virtues his life provides ample examples to show how by means of devotion patience self effort and spiritual power man can stand up against even the most powerful reactionary forces he said I have learned that success is to be measured not so much by the position that the man has reached in life but by the obstacles which he has overcome while trying to succeed they who strive more for the sake of others are the happiest lot of people those who don't render any help to others are the most miserable washington struggled day and night to educate his people ignoring his own physical discomfort not caring how much he himself was able to earn he opened schools and taught children he even gave lessons on a private basis later he set up an educational institution in a place called tuskany because of his unceasing efforts and adventurous spirit the school earned fame and name in just a few years the school attracted pupils from far and wide in the course of 20 years the school acquired 2300 acres of land In the course of 20 years the school acquired 2300 acres of land 700 acres of land were cultivated the students themselves worked in the field they constructed their own buildings they were given agricultural and industrial training in addition to general education there was also a place for religious instruction this leader of the downtrodden showed with the example of a school 
that the purpose of education was not just to turn students into beggars, moving from office to office in search of employment. He inspired them to mold their lives on the foundation of self-effort, independence, adventure and industriousness. He said, education which is not related in some way or other to our daily life cannot be called education. Education is not something that helps us to escape from physical work. It has the purpose of elevating physical work to a position of honor. Indirectly, education is a means of uplifting common people and giving them a position of dignity and honor. I make it a rule never to let my work drive me, but to so master it and keep it in such complete control and to keep so far ahead of it that I will be the master instead of the servant. There is a physical and mental and spiritual joy that comes from a consciousness of being the absolute master of one's work in all its details that is very satisfactory and inspiring. My experience teaches me that if one learns to follow this plan, he gets a freshness of body and vigor of mind after work that goes a long way towards keeping him strong and healthy. I believe that when one can grow to the point where he loves his work, that gives him a kind of strength that is most valuable. I believe that any man's life will be filled with constant, unexpected encouragements of this kind if he makes up his mind to do his level best each day of his life, that is, tries to make each day reach as nearly as possible the high watermark of pure, unselfish, useful living. I pity the man, Booker T. Washington said, black or white, who has never experienced the joy and satisfaction that comes to one by reason of an effort to assist in making someone else more useful and more happy. I never sought or cared for what the world calls fame. I have always looked upon fame as something to be used in accomplishing good. I have often said to my friends that if I can use whatever prominence may have come to me as an instrument with which to do good, I am content to have it. I care for it only as a means for doing good, just as wealth may be used. I pity from the bottom of my heart any nation or anybody that is so unfortunate as to get entangled in the net of slavery. I have since ceased to cherish any spirit of bitterness against the southern white people on account of the enslavement of my race. I pity from the bottom of my heart any individual who is so unfortunate as to get into the habit of holding race prejudice. In meeting men in many places, I have found that the happiest people are those who do the most for others. The most miserable are those who do the least. I learned that assistance given to the weak makes the one who gives it strong, and that oppression of the unfortunate makes one weak. If every individual decides to spend every day of his life in the most useful manner, that is, if he tries to work in such a way as to maximize the sacredness, selflessness and usefulness of the work turned out, his life will always be filled with enthusiasm and high spirits. I pity the man, be he a white or a black, who has not experienced the satisfaction and happiness which is derived from trying to make the life of other people useful and happy. These were the words of insight gained from experience sparkling with the light of inspiration. This is the life of the legendary hero Booker T. Washington. 
ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सद श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु